Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Kyle's VCast. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about, unfortunately, another disturbing thing that came out in the news this week. Um, and, you know, just when you thought Peyton Manning, uh, you know, was on his high horse, he was going to win, you know, won the Super Bowl and was going to, you know, announce his retirement any day, any week now, another allegation hits him. And, you know, this one, this one really hurts me because. I really don't understand why we can't just accept someone as an American hero. Why as Americans are we always trying to dig for something that's not there? Why? Why? There's absolutely nothing wrong with Peyton Manning. Now, I'm going to give a little background of what was brought up. Okay, so basically what was brought up was allegations from the University of Tennessee about a woman who apparently was a trainer uh, while Peyton Manny was at the University of Tennessee. And she alleges that Peyton apparently put his genitals on her face while she was giving him treatment for an injury. Now, Peyton, on the other hand, says it was, it was completely not true and that he was mooning another teammate, which, to be honest... You know, it isn't the, the most, you know, chivalrous and, you know, it, it probably shouldn't be done. But you know what? It happens in locker rooms everywhere. And, to, and in the grand scheme of things, to be honest, as a, as a student athlete, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Why can't we just... It's ridiculous. Why can we not just accept someone as great? Why do we have to go digging for everything? Peyton Manning for everything he's done for the community, all the work he's put in, you know, people don't see that stuff. People see the Super Bowls, the records being broken. They don't see the work he puts in on the side. They don't see all the work he does for children, United Way, all of his different charities. But we choose to attack him on sexual assault allegations? Come on, guys. Peyton Manning putting his... Uh, genitals on someone I don't believe that just like the Al Jazeera report why are people out to get people want press that bad that they want to attack one of the game's greats a top quarterback top player of all time why can't we just let people be on their high horse why do we have to be so you know critical and jealous and try to you know paint people to be people that they're not to make them to demean them it's very sad. Very sad. I mean, there's there's not one part of me that one believed that he used HGH, and now that he put genitals on a woman? Peyton Manning has two kids. He has a wife. He's never gotten trouble in the news for anything. He's always been the you know a person that's had the utmost respect from everyone around him, teammates and opponents. There is absolutely no way that that I could see Peyton Manning doing something like that. This, what it looks like to me, is something that's blown out of proportion. Something that does not need to be this big of a deal. And something that is is almost just targeting them to see if they can, you know, you know, get him off his high horse. Take away from the legend of Peyton Manning. Why are we trying to do that? We didn't do that to Joe Montana. Why are we trying to do this now? Just because we have, I feel like, just because we have all of these modes of, you know, ways to get information, we use it negatively. We're, we're using it to dig for dirt. Why are we using it to dig for dirt? Why can't we just use it for a positive, to have a positive impact? Why are we digging for dirt? Okay, I'm going to say this once. And that's it. Peyton Manning is the ultimate pro. I put Peyton Manning up there with the Derek Jeters of the sports world. Stays out of trouble. Great teammate. Well-spoken. Treats everyone with respect no matter who you are. Okay? Let's stop attacking Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning's a legend. He's one of the top five quarterbacks of all time. These allegations are nothing but garbage. They're nothing but people trying to get their name out there and see if maybe they can get a little money. 
Now, I know some people don't want to hear that. They want to defend, you know, the side of, oh, well, you never know, you know, Peyton Manning gets treated like royalty so he can get away with things. You know what? Peyton Manning is a good person. And we need to stop trying to paint good people as bad people. Stop trying to dig for every little, you know, thing you can say about someone. And let's just appreciate greatness and appreciate someone that does the right thing. Because to be honest, in a time full of Greg Hardys and people that, you know, deserve to be punished, we shouldn't be going after Peyton Manning and trying to kick him, you know, while he's on his high horse. Appreciate him. Because you know what? He's probably gone. You're never going to see him play football again. Appreciate someone that played the game the right way, that handles people the right way, that treats people with respect. And let's focus it on the Greg Hardys, the Ray Rice of the world. Those people, okay. You, why don't you, if you want to bash people, bash them. But don't bash Peyton Manning. Because there's nothing there to bash. You ask any of Peyton's teammates, any of people that have watched Peyton play, any Colts, Broncos fans, or just people that are Peyton Manning fans that have watched him play over the years. And they'll tell you that there's absolutely zero chance that he committed anything. There's no way he did anything wrong. So my message today is, can we stop with this garbage news, Al Jazeera? And this, you know, Peyton Manning putting his genitals on someone. Stop that. If Peyton Manning's joking around with someone in the locker room, it's because he's joking around. That's what guys do. Is it right? No, you shouldn't do that. But he didn't put his genitals on a woman. And we let's stop calling this a sexual assault because it is, it is far from it. Stop trying to put things on people that are not deserved. Spend your time seeking out the people that do deserve this. Greg Hardy. We should talk about him if we want to talk about that. Him just getting away with it and playing this NFL season. Not Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning's a legend that just won a Super Bowl. So let's focus on that and applaud him for that. Thank you guys for listening today. I appreciate you listening. And I'll be back next week with another interesting news topic. I'm Kyle DeVico, signing off.